Hello guys, and welcome to the next episode on Magikarp Kingdom. In today's episode, I decided I'd try something new with the channel anyway. This is basically going to be a bonus segment on the channel. This is basically me taking all the clips of my Sophie Ashley Let's Play theory, and uh, just having you guys watch all the movie scenes in general, slash my great voice acting skills, when it comes to each of the dialogue options. So, yeah, I thought I'd try this out just to have people catch up on what we've been doing so far on the series. And uh, this is basically going to be kind of a memory train. Uh, I'm going to say Season 1. So, this is basically the Season 1 Ashley Let's Play on the channel. I am planning on having new stuff happen within the channel too. Um, just kind of waiting in on a few things, uh, shenanigans happen, which caused it to not actually happen the way I wanted it to. But, um, yeah, I do hope this bonus segment, uh, suits you guys' fancy. And, um, yeah, without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and let the film play out. And you guys enjoy the rest of it, alright? If you guys want to, at least, anyway. So, I guess without further ado, let's, uh, get this started, shall we? Over. I like how the game itself actually has the characters doing some dialogue, so it'll be a little easier for me. Now back to work. I need to put in the puni ball and then add the uni after boiling it for a little while. Okay. Yeah, this is going well. Now I just have to mix it a little and. Huh? This is weird. What's with this color? Oh, it stinks! Oh, no, wait! Well, complete fail. That's our introduction, guys. This is Kirchen Bell, a small town brimming with greenery and the sounds of church bells. A certain girl lives alone in this town. I can just let the game explain how this works. Her name is Sophie. Here, she runs an atelier, using the alchemy she learned from her late grandmother. Although, she still has quite a lot of room for improvement. Mm, messed up again. Again? This isn't your first time failing? <sighs> At this rate, I'll never be as good as Grandma was. I mean, you're young now, your grandmother. Young, grandmother. Don't be that hard on yourself, you got this. Uh, if only there was a way to suddenly get really good at alchemy. Without doing any training whatsoever. Then I could make amazing medicine and stuff, and everyone in town would rely on me? <laughs> they wouldn't have any problems if that was the case. Uh, guess I should clean up. Sophie, what's that smell? <laughs> I messed up again. More importantly, why are you here, Monica? Do you need something? Yes, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Huh, it's unusual for you to have a request. What do you need? I just met with Meister Horst. He was asking for some bird medicine, but... I've gone to every shop and I can't find it anywhere. So I thought you might know something. You know, you're kind of an alchemist, right? That's why I'm asking. Okay. I'm not kind of one. Yeah, she is one who completely fails sometimes, but she is an alchemist nonetheless. So bird medicine, huh? I've never tried making that. Okay, well, that's kind of concerning. I saw Grandma making it before, so I should be able to make it too. I don't think of that the same. It's a request I decided to accept. You don't have to force yourself if it'll be difficult. No, it's fine. I can't just ignore someone in need. Leave it all to me. Oh, but I'm still not confident about it.
about it, so I should look for Grandma's book. Alright guys, so um, I guess to be transparent with you guys, um, I've already played the game. Granted, I haven't completed the game yet. I haven't been able to do that. But, uh, I haven't really played too much of, well, I haven't restarted the game, so some of the stuff at the beginning I won't remember too well. But, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's uh, try this out, shall we? That's because you don't keep your place organized. I'll help you clean up again on another day. Just keep looking. I completely forgot there's some instance where, uh... The characters don't have dialogue? So, I guess that's basically going to be the question of the day. Do you guys want me to read the characters when they have their own dialogue? Or do you want me to stay quiet and you guys can read it for yourselves? That'll be a question I have. Hmm. I can't find it. Wait. What's this book? What's wrong? It's just that there's a book here that I don't recognize. It has a very elegant binding. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. book for alchemy but only the beginning is the rest of it is all blank pages maybe grandma was writing it possibly you never know hmm i see yeah anyway monica after looking at this i suddenly remembered huh remembered what how to make the bird medicine the thing you were asking about well, that's just a lucky coincidence really? there you think you can make it of course! I have enough materials so I can mix it up real quick now. Yes, please do so. Just be careful not to make another mistake, okay? I'll be fine. Just leave it to me. Yeah, yeah it's not like we failed severely before. You're completely fine with this. You'll be fine. Alright, time to try making it. <laughs> Good luck, Sophie. Leave it to me. All right, done! Monica, it's ready! Hmm, that's amazing. It really is bird medicine. Thank you, Sophie. You really helped me out. Don't worry about it. We're friends, right? <laughs> right. Anyway, I'll take this over to Meister Horse now. Whenever they say Meister Horse, um, I know it says Mister. I think as in Meister, like, he's a singer, and then Horus, as in, he's an animal. <laughs> but again, uh, that's just random dialogue. Hey, Monica, do you mind if I go along? Huh? I don't mind, but why? I'm the one who made this medicine. If it turned out to be no good, it would mean trouble. Hmm. I think it's fine, but, well, it couldn't hurt. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, just a minute! I should write the recipe into the reference book while it's still fresh in my mind. Good idea, that way you won't forget. Sorry for the wait, Monica. Anyway, let's go see Meister Horse. The book is shining. I'm sure it'll be fine. Meister Horst! Ah, you two. Do you need anything? Meister Horst, 
I brought the Berg medicine you requested. Oh, thank you very much for bringing it so quickly, Monica. Well, actually, Sophie made it. I couldn't find any Berg medicine myself. Sophie, you made this? Yes. Um, is there something wrong with it? Not at all. In fact, it's quite rare to see Berg medicine as fine as this. It seems your skills with alchemy are improving quite a bit, Sophie. <laughs> you two have been very helpful. Here's your payment. So after she looked at the book, she made an item that was pretty awesome. Okay. Oh my goodness, we just doubled the money with this tutorial itself. Double the money we had. Wow, thank you so much, Meister Horse. Um, I didn't really do anything. I can't accept this. No, no. I'm the one who made such a sudden request. Think of it as a payment for your time. I insist. Very well. I'll accept it gratefully. Thank you too, Sophie. If you're ever troubled by anything, just ask. I'll do whatever I can to help. Anyway, I'll get going now. Have a good day, Meister Horst. Sophie? Yes, have a good day. Uh, the animation in the game, I admit it isn't that quality like we have nowadays. Modern Warfare, uh, Battlefront uh, 2, something like that. But, this game has been released at least around the mid 2000? I think 2008 roughly, but again, I probably got that wrong, so roast away if you guys like to. <sighs> I worked hard today. I don't think they can do that at all, Sophie. You just got home, and you're already so loud. Oh, sorry! Wait, what? Did the book just talk? I think it did, actually. Yes, I talked. What? The book... The book is talking? Please just calm down. People are able to talk. It's not strange for a book to talk, too. Yes, because that's completely normal. Got that, Sophie? Books are able to talk too, just like people. That is completely normal. Nothing is completely wrong with it. Why is there a book talking? Huh? Um, I don't think that's how it works. Um, so you're that reference book from earlier, right? The one I wrote in? Yes, I'm Plakta. And it has a name. Of course. Oh, you have a name. I'm Sophie. Sophie, I shall remember that. Well, I hope you do your book. You're full of knowledge. Um, Miss Plakta? Just call me Plakta. Uh, okay. Um, Plakta? What exactly are you? A book. Okay, that is the most simplest response ever. Like, you, you can't even be mad at that. It's like straight up, it's a book. Don't question it, guys. It's just a talking, flying book. It is a book. Named Plakta. It has a name. A book. Flying. Plakta. Got that? Okay. Confirmed, Plakta is a book. I can see that, but you're a book, yet you're flying and talking. It's really strange. It's true that I'm different from an ordinary book. That's because I... I... That's strange. I can't remember. What exactly am I? So your book that can hold knowledge in it, information on a lot of things, and yet... You can't remember what you are? Um, that's what I want to know. Wait, Plakta, do you not have any memories? 
It seems so. I can remember that I'm related to alchemy, though. Okay. Alchemy? Then I might be able to help. I'm actually an alchemist. Yes, I know. A novice alchemist who doesn't even know how to produce bird medicine. Ouch. Oh, so you saw that. But I can make it now. Even a child could make that if they studied a little bit. E. Is Fata roasting Sophie right now? Uh, but, but, Meister Horse praised me for it, saying it was really well made. From my point of view, it didn't appear particularly excellent in any way. My goodness, can we get hashtag Fata roast in the comments? Yeah, I'm terrible at alchemy. I make lots of mistakes, and I can't make lots of things. I can't help the people around town like my grandma was able to. Do you wish to become better? Huh? I'm asking you if you wish to become better at alchemy. Of course I do. I would if I could. There is a device called the Cauldron of Knowledge. It allows anyone to use the power of alchemy. With that, you would be able to make free use of alchemy, as you so desire. There's an amazing device like that? I want it! Where can I find it? Well, I guess this is full circle. Sophie wanted a cheap way to get better. And now she has an amazing way that she can get better. Now, the question is, where exactly is it? The Cauldron of Knowledge is... Oh, this is strange. And she forgot. Oh no, don't tell me. Plakta, you forgot where the cauldron is? It seems so. So, your book full of Naldrin, who knows about alchemy, flying by the way, that I also talked and is named Plakta, you know when we know about an awesome device that can help out almost anyone, and you roasted Sophie for not knowing how to make medicine. And yet, you don't know what one item that could be useful to anyone is. What? Are you serious? That's terrible! I got my hopes up only to crush them. I'm very sorry, but I can't remember at all. As compensation, I can teach you alchemy myself. From book who can't remember anything. I may have lost my memories, but I'm confident that my knowledge of alchemy exceeds yours. Okay, again, more roasting. Confirmed. But a lot better than having only one thing you can make, right guys? Hmm, you do seem pretty smart. And you probably do know more about alchemy than me. If you'll teach me, I'll gladly accept. Very well. We'll be working together starting now, Sophie. Yeah! I look forward to it, Plakta. And just like that, Sophie completely ignored all the random stuff Plakta was saying. And now to friends. Congratulations. Alright, so... Over here is the introduction of the game. Basically, I finished the tutorial. That's what it was. Um, I would love to be quiet and let you guys hear the game, uh, the music. But I feel like if I did that, I would be copyrighted. Granted, though, if you guys do have a chance and you're interested in this music anyway, I think it'll only be around a minute, maybe a minute and a half. It's really it's a good listen anyway. And I'm pretty sure it'll be on YouTube somewhere, so go ahead and look it up. Uh, yeah, they pretty much did pretty good with the animation itself. At least of the time they had it. Like, this kind of quality would make for an interesting anime, nonetheless. Well, an anime opening this title screen right here. Perfect anime opening. Well, except for like maybe showing the background page, but again, like if 
this was an anime itself, it would be really interesting. Again though, I do apologize about talking over it. Uh, it's more lines of just avoiding copyright. Okay, let's not waste any time. Can you teach me some stuff, Papa? We we only waste about 17 hours of our lives. Um, let's see what uh, you have to teach us. So you're quite enthusiastic. Yeah, I don't want to be a novice forever. <laughs> Very well. Try synthesizing something first. Synthesis? I can do that. Let's see, materials, materials. Oh. Uh oh. What's wrong? I used all my materials when I made that bird medicine. I have nothing left. Then it seems you need to gather some. Is there a place nearby where you can do that? Yeah, I know of a place, but Uni appear there, so I'm scared to go alone. Oh, right. I can have Monica come with me. Monica? Is that the girl who was with you yesterday? Yeah, she's actually really strong. I see. Then you should be safe. Very well, please be careful. Huh? You're not coming too? Come on, you're a flying book. Who knows about alchemy? You've got this. As you can see, even if I was to go, I wouldn't be able to fight. Seeing how I'm a book and all, I mean, can you shoot magic spells out of the book? Or do you have to be a human being to use magic? Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll be off then. I'm guessing that's the case then. If Sophie agrees with it, uh, go ahead and stay home, Plaxa. I would say do some cleaning, but again, your book. So... Hover around then? Or flappy pages? I have no idea. Yes. Try to come back quickly. Time is finite after all. Are you planning on going somewhere? If you take too long, I won't have as much time to teach you alchemy. It sounds like she's uh, packed at going somewhere. <laughs> You're right. Okay, I'll try to hurry back. Well, let's get these introductions done. Oh. Will you come gathering with me? Hmm? Why are you asking all of a sudden? Yeah, why? I don't have any materials for synthesis. I want to go gather some, but I'm scared to go alone. Ah, I see. Of course I'll go. Besides, you helped me with Meister Horse request. All oh, right. Thanks, Monica. Yeah, no problem. By the way, Sophie, have you outfitted yourself properly? I have my handkerchief and snacks. I don't think that's what she means. That's not what I meant. You need medicine and other supplies, right? We're going to a place where monsters appear. You need to prepare properly. Actually, that does make sense. Oh, you're right. I'll be sure to bring some stuff. Why, if it isn't Sophie and Monica, are you going somewhere? Mrs. Marguerite. Yes, I'm going to help Sophie gather materials. Right, Sophie? Wow, these are nice. Your vegetables look so tasty today, too. Yum. Uh, Sophie. <laughs> it seems Sophie is charmed by my vegetables again. Sophie. Huh? Oh, right. Yeah, we're going to go gathering. I see, I see. Make sure to be careful. Yes, thank you for your concern. That makes me wonder where my foolish son wandered off to. If you see him, tell him I'm looking for him. Got it. I'll let him know if I see him. Anyway, we'll be going now. Yes, take care.
fresh air is great. I feel like I haven't been outside of town in a long time. Sophie, you need to be more careful. We have no idea when monsters could appear. I know. Wait, is someone over there? That's... Hey, Oscar! Oh, Sophie and Monica. What are you doing out here? We're here to gather alchemy materials. What about you? I came to observe the plants. The plants here tell some interesting stories. Oscar, don't tell me you were talking to plants again. That's exactly what I was doing. What's weird about that? To me, it's weirder not to be able to talk to plants. Really? Well, I kind of counterdict that, but I mean, you do you? Yeah, you were always like this. I don't really intend to argue after all this time. That sounded vaguely like an insult. Oh, right. Oscar, Mrs. Marguerite was looking for you. Oh, crap! I totally forgot about my delivery! Mom's gonna scold me! This is your own fault. Just accept it, Oscar. Huh? What was that sound? Ah! Tony! Sophie, stand back! Oscar, you can fight, right? What? Wait a second! I'm not prepared for this! Here they come! I thought I was going to die. Really? You both appear uninjured. Yeah, somehow. I didn't think they'd attack all of a sudden like that. Hey, Oscar. Do you want to come with us? Dangerous to be alone. Monsters could attack again. You're probably right. All right, I'll go with you. I wouldn't want to get hurt after all. In that case, let's get started with the gathering. Oh, you need to help too, Oscar. What? I never said I'd do that. We won't tell Mrs. Marguerite we saw you here. Okay? Uh, fine, I got it. Ha, <laughs> busted. They should be plenty. <coughs> Talk about using people. What should we do, Sophie? Want to look around a little more? Huh? No way! That's enough! I'm exhausted. Really? And if we stick around too long, some dangerous monsters could appear. Hmm. Oscar might be right. Okay, then. Let's head back. Yeah! Oh! Both of you should drop by the Atelier. I'll make tea for you. Oh, really? Then we'll take you up on that offer. Right, Oscar? Yeah. But first, let me catch my breath. We can work. We're back! Ah, welcome back. That took a long time. Wait, wait, wait. Did you tell them about the book? Th that book is floating? A and talking? I never thought I'd hear the voices of books in addition to plants. N no, Oscar. It isn't just you. I can hear it too. This time. Sophie, it seems your friends are just as loud as you are. Um, you think? <laughs> I'm pretty sure anyone would be surprised if they saw you, Plakta. Um, both of you? This is... Introduction. You wrote something in a reference book and it started talking? Sounds more like a dream. I never thought that book would turn out to be something this amazing. I was shocked at first, too. I mean, a book was flying and talking after all. I don't think it's that shocking. That's because you're the one we're all talking about. No, it is. Oscar, you're not helping your cause either. Oh, um, Miss Plakta? Just call me Plakta. Oh, okay then. Plakta? What or who are you? Ah, I asked the same question. But it seems like Plakta doesn't have any memories. 
Really? Yes, the only things I know are my name and a little knowledge of alchemy. Right. That's why I want to figure out a way to get her memories back. Memories, huh? Maybe they'll come back if you found some sort of clue? A clue? Hmm. Oh, Sophie, I just thought of something. Flakta started talking because you wrote something in the book, right? Yeah, I think that did it. Then maybe her memories will return if you write more recipes into the book? Wow, that makes sense. You're pretty sharp, Monica. Just like her blade. What do you think, Plakta? It doesn't sound far-fetched. I think it would be worth trying. Okay. In that case, I'll study lots of alchemy and write lots of recipes into you. I feel like some sort of fate brought us here. If there's anything I can help with, let me know. Yeah, I'll help with whatever I can too. Thank you both. Whoa, it's getting late. I need to get home or Mom will scold me again. Yeah, you better. I'll be leaving as well. See you later, Sophie and Plakta. Yeah, see you! I need to work hard for Plakta. Yes, I have high hopes, Sophie. All right, time to start synthesizing. Plakta, teach me whatever you can. Okay, I understand. Wow, this turned out better than before. Yes, even with the same recipe, the way you make it can greatly change the results. Alchemy is based on creativity and ingenuity. You should remember that. Creativity. Okay, I understand. By the way, Plakta, I want to try making something else now. <laughs> that also depends on your creativity. Huh? What do you mean? There are various things you experience during your daily life. Things you see, hear, and feel. If you base your creativity off of them, you may come up with new alchemy recipes. Hmm. So you're saying I should do all kinds of things? Yeah? I suppose that would be putting it very simply. Uh, okay, I get it. I'll just try whatever comes to mind. Yes. You should try that. At the very least, the experience will be good for you. 